Yo, yo, what's going on, you too, man? Back at it again. Sunday, man, it's a beautiful day outside. I just came to talk to y'all about, about, uh, you know, stuff you go through in life, you never know why, you never know what, um, you know, God may be trying to show you. So I'm, um, I got a little story I just want to share with y'all and, you know, maybe this can help somebody or give somebody a better understanding um, of why things might happen, you know, and just how we never know why things happen. But uh, so one day I had a homeboy, man. Um, his name was Roger. We called him six. Call him too tall, man. He was he was like six nine, like he was a tall. He was tall and skinny. Anyway, you know, he was my boy. Like I, he was one of them guys that I hung with on a daily. I hung with him every day. It was me and him. We was rocking. Uh, you know, he was kind of a bad influence, but he was my boy. Like um, his sister was my baby mama, and like we just built a bond. We just got close. Um, we had things in common that we both did. Um, and, you know, it just made a friendship that we just, you know, always held on to or whatever. So, uh, you know, mind you, I hang with this guy every day. Now, mind you, my favorite car, man, my favorite car was a, uh, I used to always want a Caprice. Uh, this was back when the Caprices were popping, like, you know, every guy like how every guy pretty much want a charger now or you know or a camaro or something like back then it was a caprice like we wanted a caprice on the big rims and that was you know that was a car that i really really wanted and uh you know after a long work and you know i finally got the car i finally got me a caprice i had 24s on it uh it was man i love this car man it was it was my baby, you know, um, couldn't tell me nothing. You feel me? And, uh, he didn't really have a car. My boy, Roger, he ain't have a car. So we used to drive around in my thing, you know, and plus I had a nice looking whip and, you know, we just, so we just drove mine. Sometimes I used to let him drive my car and, you know, we just shared together. You feel me? That was my boy. So, um, down here in my city, it probably happens in other cities too. We have this thing where we it's called a um it's called an apple chill. And it's basically a, a place where people come and uh you know, we gather, we just have fun. People from all over come around and you know, they bring their cars. We got food it's food out there. It's a it's a strip. It's a street in uh it's a street in Chapel Hill. It's called Franklin Street. You know, when the Tar Hills win big uh, big games. Everybody goes to Franklin Street. So uh, the Apple Chill was on Franklin Street. So, you know, me and my boy, you know, we was going down there. I really didn't want to drive my car. The only reason why I didn't want to drive my Caprice was because I only had three rims at the time. One of my rims was bent and had a flat. So I ain't really want to drive my car because I'm like, man, all these other guys, they going to have their cars out there. Like, I'm going to be looking crazy with three rims. So we end up getting this other guy, uh, this is our girl car. And uh, so we took the girl car down to Chapel Hill. So we, you know, we out there chilling, having a ball. You know, it was all good. We was having fun. Now, mind you, this was like a weekend thing. Like you, it was like a Friday and Saturday thing or a Saturday and Sunday thing. I can't remember, but it was a weekend thing. And, uh, you know, so we went down there the first day we had fun. So the second day, we like, man, we trying to go back. Like, we had so much fun. We met some people, met some girls. Like, we was just down there chilling. So, uh, you know, the second day, we wanted to go back. So the second day, we couldn't really get the girl car who we took the first day. So, uh, so we trying to figure out how we going to get down there. So I'm like, man, you know what? I'm just finna drive my Caprice, like, but I didn't want to drive it because I just didn't like driving my Caprice when it had just three rims on it, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck it, you can drive, you know what I'm saying? You know, he ain't care, like, he was that type of nigga, he ain't care, like, yeah, shit, it had three rims, it had four tires, though, like, it ain't matter. 
So he was the type of, I was like, I was like, cool, bro. You can drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll let you drive. So I ain't gonna never forget it, man. I went and I, uh, I filled my gas tank up, filled my gas tank up. Cause we was finna take this trip down to Chapel Hill and you know, we was just finna make it do what it do. So boom. Um, a couple of hours before we was finna leave, you know, we out chilling, we out getting stuff we need, you know, mind you, we only just, you know, getting all the, you know, the smoke we, we need, like just getting stuff we need, you feel me? And, uh, so we out just getting stuff ready for the day. Now, mind you, like I said before, this is my boy, like, if he fight, I'm fighting, like, if he shoot, I'm shooting, like, this was my nigga. And, um... Whatever he needed, you feel me? I was there for him. Whatever I needed, he was there for me, shit. And, uh, so, boom. We was getting ready to get ready to head down to Chapel Hill. So, we driving. Mind you, he driving. I'm in the passenger seat. Uh, so, we coming down the street. Um, you know, finna get ready to get on the highway. So, we coming down this little back street. So we get to this intersection. I, I don't really, I'm not really paying attention because I'm in a passenger seat. So I'm looking down, I'm doing something. But next thing I know, boom, somebody hit my shit. Total my car, man. Total my car. Mind you, this was my favorite car, my Caprice, my, like, I love this car, man. And somebody hit my shit, wrecked it. Total my shit, right? So mind you, we didn't even get to go to the chap to the Apple Chill that day because somebody had towed on my car, and you know by then I wasn't even in the mood. I was mad because my car was wrecked, and you know it was just a it was just a whole bunch of bullshit. You feel me? And I, you know, from and then that day I just never could understand. Like, damn man, I wonder why. Like, uh, why do you have to wreck my car? Like. That's all I was really pretty mad about. You know, everybody was good. Everybody was, you know, wasn't nobody hurt or nothing. But, you know, my car was gone. But the kicker to the story is... Two days after he wrecked my car. Now, mind you, that was my car. So, I wasn't able to get around like I wanted to. Um, you know, we still, the next day, I think it was the last day of the Apple Chill, we still was going to try to get down there. So I'm calling him. He trying to get this girl car. Like, he like, yeah, I'm trying to get a car. You know, if I get the car, I'm going to come through and pick you up. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool, bet. So I'm I'm pretty much waiting on him all day, like, to, you know, to come pick me up. But, you know, I ain't never get the call. So now I'm calling him back. He ain't picking up. Calling him back. He ain't picking up. Um... Next thing you know, I, I'm, so I'm, I'm watching TV, man, and I look on the news, and man, come to find out, my boy, he tried to, uh, he he was trying to get some money, and um, you know, he was he, he was like a stick up kid, kinda like he would rob your ass, like he was that type of dude, and he went to go try to rob these Mexicans, and um, I guess it was a robbery went bad, and the Mexicans end up pulling out and, and basically my boy ended up killing him you know what i'm saying and now my boy he in jail for life for murder and uh the moral to the story is if my boy didn't rep if he didn't rep my car now mind you the murder happened two days after he wrecked my car if he didn't wreck my car i could have been right with him that day that he would have robbed them people and I could have been sitting in jail right now for the rest of my life. If he never would have wrecked my car, I would have been right with him. Not thinking, not knowing, just alone for the ride, just whether I was would have been in the house with him or whether I would have been the driver to like, you know, waiting outside. I would have been with him. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like God just He took my car away from me that day for me to, you know, so I couldn't be around him because he knew what was finna happen and uh yeah man it's just crazy even when i think about it to this day it's like damn bro like i literally would have been with dude if he wouldn't have wrecked my car and i really take it as that was a sign from god telling me like 
you know, watch who you be around, watch what you're doing. And, you know, as long as you're living right and doing right and trying to do right, you know, he'll guide you and show you the right way. And that just goes to show you that you just never know why things happen. I could not understand why he took my car from me. Like, I was like, just, I was real hurt about that. Like, he took it. Like, I was so pissed because it, it, it was my car and I love that car. I worked hard to get it. Like, but, you know, as time went past and I seen things that happened, it's like, man, if he wouldn't have took that car, I'd have been, I, I could have been in jail for murder right now. Y'all would have never seen his video. Like, crazy when you think about it. So, that just goes to show me, you never know why things happen in your life. And you never know why God may be taking something from you. You never know why God may be giving something to you. Uh, you know, man, the, the man works in mysterious ways and... Hey man, we just gotta pay attention to the to the signs. Pay attention to the visions that he giving to you, man. And that's just my message for the day. That's my story. But yeah, man, hope everybody have a good Sunday, man. We out. This is, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Make sure you know the vibes. Like, share, subscribe, man. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that good shit. In the description, man. We out this.